Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be answering your guys' assumptions because I did actually ask for you guys to send some of your assumptions about me on the YouTube community page and Instagram and I'm not going to lie, I did get quite a few. So I will be answering them in today's video. Also, I am really, really tired filming this video right now, okay? I woke up at 9 o'clock and I've gone to college for 1 o'clock and yeah... I feel tired, I look tired, my makeup hasn't gone the best today so please ignore what I look like today. I hope I will wake up throughout the video. But before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel if you are new as well because I would love to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April so if you all could subscribe you guys will be able to make it happen but without further ado let's get on the video i'll just have a look on instagram first wow i do have a lot on instagram oh my god i must have about 20 on instagram first one i'm going to give a few shout outs to people as well so the first one is off underscore zrxy dot ig and she said, you love wearing makeup. Yes, um, yeah, that is correct. I do love wearing makeup to make myself feel confident. I look a bit older as well. As makeup can transform your face a lot. Like, trust me guys, if I did not have any, if I did not have any makeup on, right now I would look about 12 years old. And my skin would look so spotty, like it's, Oh my god, it'd be awful. So yes, so I would say that makeup does make me happier when I wear it, but it does take so much effort and time to do it properly. Or like, if I rush my makeup, I will absolutely hate wearing it. But if I take my time to do it, I will absolutely love my makeup. So yeah, um, the next one is off the same person again, and she said. You have a lot of friends. I wouldn't say I have a lot of friends. Um, I do have like a few friends. Um, I could never have a lot of friends anymore. I was in a biggish kind of friendship group in school, but I could never have a lot of friends. And now I probably have like three or four friends, and that's enough for me to be honest. Like, yeah, I hardly ever go out the house and socialise anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah. Are you like doing YouTube? I absolutely love doing YouTube, filming videos, thinking video ideas, but sometimes I do find it a bit of a chore to edit videos, especially if I've been very tired or I'm in a mood, you know. Editing it can take the longest time ever and also uploading a video onto YouTube. I like sometimes it can take over an hour i don't know if it is my wi-fi if you guys can relate to this the way youtube takes forever to upload a video you leave a comment because oh my god it can take ages at times and it's so super annoying like oh my god yeah but overall i do enjoy filming youtube videos but also i can struggle to film them especially if my stutter is a little bit like worse at times, um, as I do have, I do have my good weeks and also my bad weeks as well. But yeah, the next one is you are a shy person. Yes, I can be a very shy person, and um, I can't come out of my bubble. You know, once I get to know people, but yeah, um. I'm a very shy person. I may not come across as shy on my YouTube videos, but like I think on YouTube you kind of have to act a bit more confident and I'm more talkative. And I think the reason why I probably am more shy as well is because of my stutter. Um, it can like control 
all my moods and how I'm feeling and sometimes if I'm not in the mood for talking because my story's bad I can come across as shy so yeah um, I would say I, I am a very shy person but I'm not as bad as I used to be definitely if someone said you're high maintenance <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm like a, a very high maintenance Um, I like to look good I like to have my makeup all perfect I like to have my hair all nice and, and neat and everything so I would kind of say I am a little bit but I wouldn't be stressing out about it and like I'd rather have my makeup on if I was straightening my hair because my hair can just be like put up or like I can kind of do something with my hair but yeah I think you could call me high maintenance if you want me to, if you wanted to I suppose <laughs> Um, another assumption is you've always been good at makeup. But thank you very much, Poppy. But no, um, back in the day when I was around like 12, 13, oh my god, my eyebrows, my like eye makeup, just everything was absolutely terrible. Like, obviously, I have had a lot of practice with makeup. Um, I want to do a makeup for like a living, maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. Just remember. Everyone has to start somewhere and at the start and when I first got into makeup I was absolutely terrible. I used to have patchy foundation on my neck and everything, you know, but I would say I have improved. I'm very happy with the skill of the makeup that I can achieve now. But I just remember not everyone who does makeup really good is good at the beginning. <laughs> because trust me, I was absolutely terrible, honestly terrible. <laughs> right to your next one. Uh, someone has put Instagram is your full time job. No, um, Instagram is not my full time job. I don't actually work a full time at the minute anyway. Um, I do work in a restaurant. I'm not going to name any names because it's like in my local kind of area if you know what I mean. Um, but we occasionally do some like um, promotions or advertisements for like the companies um, such as Cherries, LWS, the Personal Touch, and other places as well. So, yeah, um, it would be cool to do Instagram full time. I think I would rather do a YouTube full time over Instagram. Like, I think Instagram is very like it puts you under pressure to take photos and look good all the time, and it isn't healthy. And I think if I did do Instagram full time, I think I would end up putting myself down a lot of the time as well so no. Someone has put your vein I would say no like I like to look good I like to look in the mirror and make a few times a day to check up on it because I do get a very oily skin and if I have a bit of oiliness on my face I like to powder over it to set it again but no um, I wouldn't call myself vain because like most of the time I could not care what I look like especially if I'm lunching in the house obviously I like to look good if I do leave the house but like I'm definitely not a vain person really no. Do you get anxious when meeting new people? Yes. I'll give you all an example so when I met Scott um, online a Tinder and Instagram basically um, I did FaceTime him a lot and I got to know him over, over FaceTime and obviously it is not the same as getting to know someone in person. So when we went on our first date, um, I met him. I actually met him in a little village out of like in my town. And oh my god, all day I was so nervous. Um, I could hardly eat anything. I think I actually went out for like a chippy with my grandma. Um, a few hours before I was going to meet him, and oh my god, I could hardly eat anything. I was so nervous, especially when meeting Scott. I was so like. Anxious and nervous to meet him, and I would say I can be anxious to meet I like other people as well. But when you're meeting someone who you kind of like fancy, like it's like a different kind of anxiousness. Like say if I meet one of his friends for the first time, I will be a bit nervous, but I won't be like really anxious. Do you know what I mean? Another assumption is you love chocolate. Oh my god, you have hit it on the head, alright? I 
honestly, I actually think I do have an addiction to chocolate. And it is actual a thing. And I think my mum has one as well because, oh my god, we love eating chocolate so much. Um, I do have a snack straw in my in my bedside table and if there's chocolates and sweets in there, 100% I will go for the chocolate over the sweets. Like, if I've not had a bit of chocolate like a whole day, I'll become really moody and like, it is not normal because if I don't have any chocolate, I won't be happy, like it's, it, like it's really weird, but yeah, I love my chocolate, I could not live without it, because otherwise I would be a very moody person, so yeah, um, if you ever want to buy me any chocolate, I'll send it over to me, hit me up and you can send it to me because I love it, <laughs> I just really love it. Hate comments affect you, not really, no, like, I'm quite lucky in the sense that I don't actually get a lot of hate comments, um, I do get a few on Instagram sometimes but like constantly I just ignore them I move on with my life if someone is leaving you a hate comment or commenting on something about your body or your looks they're clearly unhappy with themselves and wanting to let it out on you the best way is just to ignore it forget about it move on and they'll be able to move on their life and hopefully become happy again with themselves so yeah your mum does not support your YouTube channel I would say she does, but in my family in particular aren't a very like social media people and don't really like to be on my channel. But um, my mum has never like not supported me. And, like she does watch my videos and leave a thumbs up and sometimes comments on them. But like she's not um, like she's not the type of mum to like they want to be in my videos and like and take part in them if you know what I mean. But, and that's completely fine. The final assumption is you're such a kind person. I would say I am a very kind person and um, I never really mean to anyone apart from when I'm moody with Scott and then like I call him in, and then like I call him a d-head or whatever but yeah and um, like overall I am a very kind person and um, I've never been the type of person to bully anybody or call anyone a nasty name like yeah I think it's the way I've been brought up I've always been a very kind person um, I've always kept myself to myself, you know, and I've always been a very loving person, I think, as well. So, yeah, I think I would be a very kind person. So, yeah, but anyway, guys, here is the end of my assumptions video. I really hope that you guys have got to know a little bit more about me. If you have, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, and please also subscribe to my channel if you are new, because, as I said at the start of the video, I would love to get to 4,000 subscribers, by the end of April so please if you all could subscribe you guys can make it happen but I will see you all in my next video